You've been working with the products in your kit, and today we want to talk about some of the tiny treasures. And many of these tiny treasures you got with your kit, and most of them we can order separately under sales aids. There's two kinds of scoops. There's the rocker scoop and then the flat scoop. And these scoops are made to put in your canisters or to use to scoop things out of bags like dog food and cat food and sand and things like that. This one um, works great like this. When my boys were little, they used them for matchbox car ramps, so uh, you can always use it for a toy. The rocker scoop fits perfect in all the modular mates and the Tupperware canisters. It'll flatten right down inside your sugar and your flour when you go to put your seal on and you can get a nice size scoop to scoop into your Tupperware measuring cups or spoons. And I've seen people use this on their kitchen sink uh, to hold their Brillo pads or a bar of soap or little scrubby things like that. And when we used to go camping in the olden days, this used to be our soap dish to put a bar of soap in here and when you go to the showers and back, the soap doesn't get all soggy and it can dry out inside of here. So there's two different kinds of scoops. There's a tea bag squeezer that everyone loves and you just squeeze your tea. There's some little pour spouts on either side and if you're the kind of person that uses your tea bag twice then you can just plop it right down inside of your cup. These things come in different colors and um, we really have no choice about the colors. They just come in our bags. This is a Tupperware citrus peeler, and this will peel an orange or a grapefruit. A lot of people think it's a crochet hook, but it's a citrus peeler. And you would hold the orange or the grapefruit in your hand like this with the navel part sticking up. And you would just hook the little hook into the navel part and tear down about four times. And after you've scored that, then just pull this part in the navel part and it'll peel the peeling off for you. It'll save your fingernails. A lot of people where we live are coal miners and they don't want to have dirt balls so they use uh, the citrus peeler to peel their oranges. Great for a lunch box when you're going to work. This is a melon baller. Two different sizes of diameters here. They have little holes in them which make it great to pull out uh, maraschino cherries or olives out of a jar. Uh, it'll drain it for you and when you're scooping out your honeydew or your cantaloupe it makes perfect little balls for you. This is a small strainer and this is great for uh, straining tea or lemon but I use mine for confectionery sugar you know those recipes the brownies that you want to put a little bit of powdered sugar on the top I just take a scoop of powdered sugar and run my finger through it like this and it'll sift out the sugar and I keep this in my confectionery sugar canister because it makes a good scoop. This has a little cutout place here so it'll sit on the side of a cup or a bowl so if you are straining lemons or tea uh, it'll sit on the side of the cup or the bowl for you or if you're draining just a little bit of fruit. The Tupperware funnel is awesome. The Tupperware funnel is great for funneling things from jars and bottles but you also can uh, use this to make a great big Hershey Kiss. You know, after Easter time or Christmas time, melt down the chocolate bunnies that nobody ate or some chocolate chips. I usually put my finger here. Some of my friends put a marshmallow here or a piece of uh, balled up foil to hold the chocolate inside the funnel. But after the chocolate started to cool, pour it down into the funnel and let it set up. Turn it out and you have a perfect shape of a Hershey Kiss. And you can wrap your own foil around it and put your own message to somebody special in your life. These also make great Rice Krispie Treat Kisses. Instead of patting out your Rice Krispie mixture into your pan, scoop it out into your funnel and turn it out and you'll have Rice Krispie Treat Kisses. Try it with Cocoa Pebbles or try it with Fruity Pebbles. They look pretty. And at Christmas time, if you tint the Rice Krispie Treats green, uh, it'll look like Christmas trees, drizzle some frosting over it and shake on some little sprinkles and it does look like Christmas trees. This is an egg scoop and this will raise and lower eggs into boiling water and at Easter time this is perfect to pull your colored eggs out of your egg dye. This is a small funnel, kind of sort of like the small strainer, but the small funnel is great uh, for just a little bit of funneling that you have to do. But you know those salt and pepper shakers that we all have that you have to turn over on the bottom and pull out that little cork to fill and while you're filling it the salt and pepper's running out of the holes. 
All you have to do is uh, put the salt and pepper shaker upside down here where it's the opening and put this down into the uh, little hole and pour your salt or pepper here and it'll all get down inside your salt and pepper shaker. This is a paddle scraper and this is made for all the Tupperware bowls. It's proportioned where it fits right inside the edges of all the bowls so that it can clean all the cake batter or the brownies, whatever it is that you're mixing. It has the hole here so that you can aerate your batter because you know if you get uh, air inside your cake batter or your brownie batter, it'll rise a little bit higher. This is made to be cut out like this. It's not a defect. It's made like this so that this little point can fit into all the grooves of your Tupperware seals so that it can clean it out for you has a nice little hole here so that you can tie this on the top of a package when you're going to a shower or to a wedding. I have uh, three tiny treasures here that do not come in the tiny treasure pack. These can be purchased separately. One of them is the smidget and these are sold in a set or five or six and these will hold a tablespoon of ketchup or mustard or some pickles or some relish or some Miracle Whip for your sandwich at lunch so your sandwich doesn't get all soggy. It'll also hold some M&Ms in your purse for when you need a chocolate fix or some mints. If you are the kind of person that needs straight pins or safety pins, they fit perfect inside of here. Uh, a, a plastic bag, you can poke it down inside of here and keep it in your purse. And then when you're out somewhere and you need a plastic bag, uh, you don't have to run to your car. It'll be right inside your purse. You can also put a dry cotton ball in here and uh, take your uh, perfume or your tester at, a, at Macy's and test some different kinds of perfume and freshen up whenever you need to freshen up. If you're going away just for the evening, put a little bit of shampoo or cream rinse in here or some bubble bath. Uh, you'll need lots and lots of these. This is a Tupperware keychain that's a replica of the Shapo ball and a Tupperware keychain that's a replica of the water bottle. And Tupperware has many keychains that are available periodically, so you'll want to check your sales age page every month to see the ones that are available for this month. So these are the tiny treasures that we have available for us to offer to our hostesses and to our guests and just for any Tupperware lover. So you want to tune in next time to the next presentation. This is Mary Marlin, your independent Tupperware manager, thanking you for watching my videos. Subscribe to my channel below. Follow me on Facebook. Don't forget to like my Tupperware page on Facebook. And you can find me at mytupperware.com forward slash Mary Marlin.